my name is Veronica and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I have posted for the last time on this YouTube channel and there's a reason why. I have started my master's in nutritional sciences and I also have started a YouTube channel and a vlog just about nutrition. So if you're curious to know what I'm up to with that, uh, the link will be in the description box. But meanwhile, I wanted to come back to this channel since this was my first fashion that brought me to YouTube. And I wanted to share with you my baby essentials. The absolute must-haves that I found were money well invested and I never regretted it once. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, let's go with the first category, zero to six months. Number one, Snuggle Me Organic. It's incredible. I don't know how about you, but most moms, <laughs> including myself, are a little bit obsessed about baby's airways during the first months after birth. You're so concerned that they're gonna roll over or something gonna cover their mouth and you constantly check if they are okay during the night, which gives you little sleep at the end, of course. Snuggle Me Organic is beautiful because it positions your baby straight on the back and you know he's not going anywhere. At the same time, he's cozy and comfy and feel like he's being hugged. He sleeps so much better in this thing. I absolutely loved it. My favorite purchase. Number two, breast pump. I find it so crucial to have a good breast pump because even if you are planning to breastfeed full time, it's important to make sure that your uh, milk supply gets established well. Some women get low milk supply, which I have a video on, I'll have it linked down below as well. But some women also might have a lot of milk and then if the milk ducts are not worked out, meaning that basically milk flows really well for it, it can sometimes get plugged. Breast pump helps to prevent that. It, it just helps to move that milk nicely in the very beginning to establish those channels. So basically that, you know, they stretch a little bit and then the milk just flows nicely without any issues. The third thing that I'll mention here are the sleepers. In the beginning, that's all your baby is gonna be wearing. Cute little shirts and, you know, shoes, sure, if you want to take a picture, but mostly it's sleepers. So you have to decide whether you're going with zip-ups or with button-ups. I found that buttons work best for us until certain age, just because my baby was a bit leaner, so the zip-up makes this big bulge in front of his mouth, and then he ends up, like, sucking at it, so I found it kind of troublesome. So uh, I love the buttons and then after a certain time then zip-ups were just fine. So but in the very beginning I found buttons were great. The fourth point would be a sound machine. So important having a sound machine and honestly it doesn't matter what kind, your baby just gets used to the sound that you get him used to. So I just bought like a very simple one and I love it. We still use it every day and it's perfect. Fifth point, stroller. Stroller and a car seat if you're doing a travel system. Here you have to really think what you want to do and what climate you live in to select the proper stroller. I live in a really cold climate, so for me a stroller has to have really large wheels not to get stuck in the snow if I want to go outside in winter. Also, you have to decide do you, you know, do you drive a car a lot? Do you need to transfer your baby between the car seat and the stroller? So they have travel systems these days almost on all strollers and that's great. You can just take your car seat and put it in a stroller and the baby is not disturbed. I have selected Bugaboo Chameleon. I love this stroller. I love that it has a bassinet for when he's really little and when I want to take him for a walk without a car. But it also has an adapter for a car seat in case I want to go somewhere and then just plug in that car seat into the stroller right after. Six is the changing pad and some sort of change table. Really, it does not matter at all what kind of change table or change pad. As long as you have something, 
it would work. <laughs> it's just easier when you're changing the baby to have it at your waistline because if you constantly bend over and change him on the bed, it, it takes toll on your back. And trust me, I tried that and it wasn't very comfortable. Number seven, soother. So many options out there, lots of different soothers. Think the one that works best for you. Try different ones. I love the Tommy TP ones. It fits so nice and snugly around the mouth and they don't fall out. Number eight is swaddle blanket or swaddle bag. I used Ergo pouch. Ergo pouch seemed really cool because it just has this nice shape that goes like this. So it fits at the waist and so it doesn't move around him too much. And it has a zip up. I did start with swaddle blankets though. Just the regular... Uh, swaddle blankets that are made of cotton and just you know very light very airy uh, I loved them for the first two months but then he started wiggling too much and then a swaddle bag was just perfect number nine is a baby monitor my favorite one is iBaby monitor I know that this one has mixed reviews on Amazon but I'm not sure why I never had any issues with it what I really love about iBaby monitor is that I can take pictures from my phone using IBB monitor in night regime so it gives really beautiful memories and great pictures. Also I like that I can take it anywhere I go uh, since it is on my phone so if I do leave the house and leave my baby with someone I can still kind of spy on him and see what's going on. Finally it plays music and tells fairy tales he always requests to listen to the fairy tales right before he goes to sleep. Number 10 is a baby swing. You use it a lot during the first four months because the baby sleeps so much. It's very comfortable for him to sleep in a swing. Later, I actually use it just for fun for him. He'll just swing in there while I'm cooking. This concludes my categories 0 to 6 months, next the 6 to 12 months. And honestly, as he gets older, as your baby gets older, you kind of do need less stuff. Uh, it's only the first couple months when things are just so intense and you feel like you need so much. So 6 to 12 months, it's a high chair time. So yeah, he'll be spending a lot of time in a high chair, trying different foods. Along with that goes a baby food maker. This is my baby food maker and um, I find it great. It just does the job, it steams food and then it just blends it really nicely into the softest texture purees um, and he loves them. He's 16 months now and he eats purees just slightly better than our food just because it's so smooth and it goes down so easily. Now the third thing that I would recommend is a playpen. And he loved playpen because it was soft with lots of toys in there and he loved that he could hold to the side sides of the playpen and just walk around and you know train the, all those muscles. In terms of toys really they just want to touch everything you give them a paper towel roll they'll find it so fun you'll give them your keys best toy in the world maybe you know just a little pyramid just to train those dexterity skills other than that i don't even think anything else now let's go to 12 to 18 months so the last category that i had experience with so far what i learned 12 to 18 months you need a baby gate Oh my god, my little one gets into so much trouble unless he's in a perfectly safe space. Around 12 months when he just started walking, that's what I did. I enclosed a part of the living room with a baby gate, put all kinds of safe toys there, and he was so happy. I kid you not, he would spend two hours at a time playing alone there. As the time went by, we just expanded the space he can be in so that he can explore more. In closing parts of the house with the gate. So I used a part of it around the stairs, a part around the, the kitchen. This didn't only give him a lot of freedom, but gave me a peace of mind. Number two is some kind of teepee house. And I have a tutorial on how to make your own for under $5. I'll link it down below. But any kind of little fort or house is fine. We have actually a number. My husband said that our toddler has more real estate than he does. And it's true. <laughs> he has three different houses. 
loves them, plays with them every day, jumps in there, you know, rolls around, hides, loves it. So any kind of fort, perfect. The last thing that I'll mention would be something for the people who live in a colder weather, a good snowsuit. I have Columbia snowsuit and I love it so much. Initially I bought a, a two-piece snowsuit and I found it so uncomfortable. Again, this zipper would make this thing in front, you know, this bulge in front of his face when he'll be in a car seat. But this Columbia one, it's so soft and it's just so airy. It has goose down inside. It's just so warm. It's perfect. Again, in terms of toys, I'll say, depending on your baby's preference, what he or she likes the most. Mine is obsessed about cars. He calls them dadas. Dada. 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 And he repeats word dada like 10,000 times a day. So we have a couple cars for him, little ones and just a bit bigger ones. Um, that's all that he really plays with. Our toys that someone bought for us or we had already, they are fun for him, but we only entertain him maybe, you know, a minute at a time and then he just forgets about them and they just lie there. And I prefer not to have too many toys just lying around, not being used. So again, think of what your baby likes the most and go with that. <laughs> Okay, this concludes my video on baby essentials. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message or leave a comment down below. I'll be really happy to answer. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.